Thank you for purchasing a Norseal product. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Norseal 200 and 285 butterfly valve. Installing the Norseal butterfly valves is a simple procedure that requires no special tools. The only tool required to install Norseal butterfly valves is a wrench suitable for tightening flange bolts and nuts or cap screws. You should be very careful, however, when unpacking and installing the valve to avoid damage to the sealing surfaces, including the O-ring flange seals, the seat and disc edge, and the disc O-ring. You might need a hoist for valves that are 10 inches or larger, but smaller sizes can usually be handled by one person. You can use temporary pipe supports to keep the flange faces parallel and aid in installing the valve. You won't need flange gaskets since O-ring flange face seals are a built-in feature of the Norris valve design. We don't include flange bolts and nuts or cap screws with your valve shipment, but you can check the valve data sheet at www.norisseal.com to determine the required number and size of bolts or cap screws. These are available from just about any supply store. You can avoid later problems by properly preparing the valve and flanges for installation. Make sure the flange faces are free of dirt, grit, dents, or surface irregularities that could damage the body O-ring flange seals and cause leaking at the flange. Also inspect the valve and wipe away any grit or dirt that is collected around the seat seals or disc. The valve must be in the closed position to protect the sealing edge of the disc. To install a 2 inch to 12 inch span type valve, you first loosely bolt the lower half of the flanges together, making sure the flanges are separated enough to allow the valve to be inserted without damaging the flange seals and the face of the elastomer seat. Insert the valve between the faces of the flanges with care and lower it into the bolt cradle. Be very careful, especially if you're using raised face flanges, to prevent damage to the face of the seat and O-ring flange seals during installation. Now, loosely install the remaining flange bolts and nuts and then snug all flange bolts. Tighten the first bolt and then the opposite 180 degrees apart, keeping flange faces parallel. Make sure there's a full metal-to-metal -metal contact between the flange and the valve face. The O-ring seal makes excessive bolt loading unnecessary. If you have a 14 inch to 36 inch semi lug valve or a 2 inch to 36 inch full lug valve, your installation procedure will be a little different. First attach the valve to one flange and then the other using the tap flange holes. Loosely install all cap screws into the tapped holes on one flange and then tighten them evenly while working with alternate cap screws 180 degrees apart. Make sure you keep the flange and valve faces parallel. Now tighten the cap screws evenly in the same manner, alternating between the screws that are 180 degrees apart. Make sure there's full metal to metal contact between the flange and valve face and do not over tighten the cap screws. The O-ring flange seal makes excessive bolt loading unnecessary. Go ahead and repeat the procedure for the second flange. In the case of 14 inch through 36 inch semi lug valves, you'll install the remaining bolts after the valve is attached to both flanges. For more information, download our new Series 200 and 285 Operations and Maintenance Manual at www.norisseal.com.